what are the characteristics of good programming now every microprocessor your system or any system uses some instruction set so it becomes very important what instructions you provide to it you write in high level language that high level language will be converted into your assembly language this assembly language is understood by the this these are actually the instruction set so this will be converted into machine language so this whole criteria is going on you are not just just writing in high, uh, c c++ java you are actually making a machine language you are writing in machine language so the quality of program is totally dependent on, upon what you write what is the desired input what are you writing is it giving a correct output or you are just writing 10 lines i am writing 5 lines mine is better you have put in so much effort but my effort less line and good effort okay so, so there are certain characteristics which need we need to follow for, to make a good program first is flexibility see you have written a program if i say just change the program i don't like this program you'll be saying i much i put so much effort in the making this program and you are saying me to change the program no you should be saying okay sir i'm going to change the program no problem with that i have made my program so flexible that i can change it anytime just take an example of cad computer aided design this came for mechanical people okay this software has now being you know propagated and being used and immensely used for engineering drafting printing circuit board layout design architecture design technical drawing industrial art why because this program is so flexible this is so good that even the people who are not in the, the that uh, mechanical department they are using it even the remote sensing gis civil people are using it so you have to make that program so that you can update it change is the change is the only thing which never changes so you have to be prepared for the change make your program flexible user friendly see i have made a very good program but my user don't know how to for example when uh, one version of windows came people were not able to understand how to switch off the computer they were not even finding the off button on the screen so what is the what is the use of making such a humongous program if you if your user is not even finding the off or put your system off so best make it as user friendly everything should be clean every should thing should be very obvious intuitive means if even a prob, if something comes up the software or the program should say or should give a proper message that your input is wrong or you must do this you must do that it should be self propagating or flowing if your user loves it then your program is good if you have made a very very good effort but the user friendliness is not there there then your software or program is of no use portability portability there are windows windows system there are uh, mac systems there are uh, say linux not system but operating system and say this is working on say intel pentium or this is working on xeon this is working on some amd processor some some processor i'm just taking random now your program you have checked it very well for windows you have put on put in so much effort in testing but your program is not going to work on a mac or linux so what is the use if your program is not portable unless and until you have been set properly that it should only work on windows otherwise the portability is very important because the user or the technology is changing so fast so rapid that things are changing very at very huge or fast or exponential pace so you have to catch up with that for that you have to make your program work on each and every configuration reliability reliability is you have been given a task of making a maggi but you have made a program of making a noodle maggi is a specialized noodle you have to make a program for maggi only this may work for noodle this may not work for noodle and the second thing is you have given a wrong input the program is not giving anything or it is crashing it is not showing any de graceful degradation that means your program is not reliable it can collapse any time it can stop any time it is not giving any error messages and what you have made is not what you have been asked for your program will be unreliable so make it reliable self documenting code if you have written your variables methods function and you have given a very suitable name then the reader will understand what is going on your program has to be 
clear, self-sufficient and self-expressive. This is self-documenting course.